Hello everyone, TMT Designs here, known as Thomas Turner, and today I'm going to show you how to do a bit of image manipulation. So, first of all, I've just got a few random images, and I'm just putting, put them in a document. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just make my bottom layer. So we're going to edit this, this is going to be the main core. So, I'm going to get rid of this house image, I don't think it's good. Okay, yeah, so here's some waterfalls. So what we could do is add the waterfalls into the image. So first of all, I'm gonna make the image bigger. I'm gonna make the water just go around here. Okay, actually a bit more down. Yeah, so now I'm going to just change a few layer options. See which one looks best. I'm going to be using the layer mask tool as well. Yeah, clipping mask. Oh, it's a, um, all right, so I think I'm going to be using this. So what I'm going to do now is get the pen tool and remove this water from the from the waterfall. Because I think we I shouldn't need that. But I'm going to keep it to where the water. There we go. So now I'm going to select it. make a selection and just delete the selection there we go so as we can see here I delete the section so what I'm gonna do now is get a fairly big brush and then put softness at 100 uh, hardness at 0 sorry make the brush a bit bigger yeah so I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger and just try and blend it in as much as I can So now I'm going to get another image. Um, I think I think this one's going to look good with it. Okay, so now I'm going to do Control T. I'm just going to do the same thing, do the full image again. And click Enter. Now I'm going to go with the layer settings again and just carry on going down. Slowly through it. And I'm going to make it over there. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Oh, there we go, I think this one looks the best. And what I'm going to do is get the rubber and put the softness on zero and put the opacity slightly lower, put about 50%. I'm just gonna carry on erasing this until I feel like it's a good amount. The key thing with this is just to keep it as realistic as possible but without going too much overboard but without making it too simple I'm just speeding this up for tutorial purposes As you can see, it's making it just a bit like it's flooding. Sort of effect. 
Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this. Make it control T, make it a bit bigger. There we go. It's gonna look a bit bigger like so. So, yeah, 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 I've just made it a bit bigger, that's all. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a different image. There we go, control T. I think I'm just gonna put this like uh, just above. Actually, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Just make it all of it, and then just carry on going with the layer styles again. Maybe for this we might need to turn the opacity down. Yeah, I think. something like yeah, I think this looks good. So now we've got this. Thing. Gonna do identical thing like before. Just overflow. In the case, put this background. You can do that. Okay, turn the opacity down again. Now this is more like it. It looks like a bit more flooding. Um, yeah, now this is looking very good. quicker because of the tutorial. Otherwise I would just be much more slower. So now this is giving the um, the scenery a bit of a different taste. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. I'm just gonna do a bit more raising. So it's like half of it's a rose, uh, like over overgrown and flooded, while the, while the other half is all right. And I'm just gonna turn this layer on and do the same thing. I'm doing Control C to transform the image, and I'm just making it the same size. And then do control. Just turn go through the layers again. Oh wow, well then this is looking very good. Um, yeah, so now this is looking very nice. I do like this. So I'm gonna turn that opacity down just a tad. Yeah, just a tad. Now I'm gonna do the uh, use the rubber tool again. So half of it looks so it looks very gloomy I would say. It looks a bit overgrown but then at the end it's like a different tone. Sort of thing. One thing which is going to improve this a lot are the color corrections. So now this is looking pretty nice. Okay, but it isn't how it's going to look in the end. So first of all, I'm going to create a quick color correction. So I'm just going to do create a new layer, create a gradient layer. I'm just going to use the preset purple and um, actually red and green. Yeah, red and green. I'm just going to put an overlay on it. 
and now I'm gonna just turn it down. So as you can see, this brings out some of the colors in a more depth, in a more in-depth style. So I'm gonna control, just rasterize that layer, and just start deleting the bottom part because I do not want that to affect the bottom part of the image, just the top. Okay, now I'm gonna create another layer. I'm gonna go into the curves. Just gonna change that a bit. Make it, or we could use the defaults to begin with. Yeah, yeah, this is looking the best in my opinion. I'm just gonna raise the bottom once again. I'm just gonna raise some of this to make it a bit brighter. So as you can see, it looks like it's been flooded. I'm just gonna change the levels. Make it a bit more brighter or darker. A bit more brighter, there we go. I'm just gonna remove the beer. I'm gonna remove that actually, in fact, because I think we do not need the grass, it doesn't look that good. So, yeah, so as you can see, let me delete that. So, as you can see, this is looking much more different than, than the beginning image. So, now let's say if I remove all the top layers from that, a standard New York image or something in America, and now if I change it. Um, it's completely changed and obviously I can carry on I can carry on editing it and changing it to my liking you can spend hours doing image manipulation this is just a beginning tutorial like what I could do is grab some grass um, let's see if we're, uh, I've got any um, yeah so what we could do is grab maybe uh, let's do control so let's say I wanted to add maybe some of these some of these tree trunk sleeves onto the building, like coming out of the building. So what I'll do, I'll just put on this section. Just this bit. Now I'll just make a selection. Bam. And I'll just go to Control C or copy. Edit, copy. Now we're gonna paste. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is go to the top. Oh no, actually I'm not going to put it just in there. Okay, so now let's say I wanted these attached to the it probably isn't the best of example. So here we go. So now let's say I want these leaves just on one building. Like you know, like there's a bit of overgrown on some buildings. Okay, so now let's do now let's just do the layer thing uh, the layer thing again. I'm just gonna put it in there. So it's just on this edge. One thing I'll have to do is duplicate the bottom image and start deleting sections of it. Then obviously we can see it's just going to connect to this building. 
Now if I go past that, uh, auto select keeps turning on, which is a bit of annoying. So now it's not going past there. I think that was slightly messed up. Well, we could have added it actually. I'm going to add it to the guard. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it down here. And I'm going to uh, do an edit selection. So I'm going to go edit, um, transform. Uh, walk we could use. So let's I just want to walk around it. Make it just to look a bit more flotatious. So it's gonna go on the water. And I'm gonna do edit perspective, yeah. Now it just looks like there's some green mesh in the water. So what I'm gonna do is see if any other style layers, layer styles look a bit better. Nope. Darken seems to be the best bet. Okay. And green overlay on it that makes it stand out just a bit, bit more mm -hmm. so now it, it looks slightly it could be done a much better to be honest if I spend like one hour uh, making this ten times better but for the tutorial purposes I hope you're getting the gist of things on how to manipulate images together so to begin with we just started off with a simple town and yeah then we got a bit more creative as time went on this is good if you're very if you get very good at it you can start selling pieces um, to artists uh, but to clients who just want a unique image as a background or something but this is just the beginning steps of how to manipulate images together um, yeah so thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment below or any suggestions um, yeah feel free to comment below and like comment subscribe thanks for watching and yeah peace